Today I'm going to show you quickly how to splice together two wires or cords that have been cut or damaged or uh, just are frayed or just aren't working for whatever reason. So in this case, my daughter's handy little night light here uh, isn't working anymore because it doesn't charge because the cord got cut in half somehow. So we're going to go through and quickly show you how to splice these uh, cords back together. And it's really pretty simple, um, just a few tools needed. We've got some electrical tape which you can buy at, at Walmart or Home Depot or anywhere. Uh, an X-Acto knife or any sort of a blade. You can really do this with just a pair of scissors honestly. Um, but some sort of a blade is ideal. Um, and those are the only two essential pieces here. The other things I've got here are some needle nose pliers because I have a nice set of uh, clippers on them. And then if you really want to make life easier, you get one of these types of guys. I got this at a fair years ago, so I'm not even sure if they're available. I'll take a look. But this thing, you just um, it just pulls back. It's a wire stripper. So it grabs onto the wire and then pulls the casing back. So um, I'll show you the easy way though, or the, the kind of standard way of doing this without any special tools or anything. So I've got two wires here. I just need to um, get these two separated from one another. So I'm going to insert my X-Acto knife right in between them. I'm being real careful not to get my fingers or anything. And then just separate them. Then once you've got them separated, you can easily pull them apart. Give yourself, you know, an inch or so. I'll do the same thing on the other side. Just right in between. Follow it through. And then pull it apart. Okay. So now I want to make sure I get the right ones together. So as we can see, one of them has a blue stripe on it and the other one has just text on it. So just a little print on it. So I'm going to keep the two blue guys together and the two non-blue guys together. Uh, a couple ways to do this. So I'll show you both ways. With this set of tools here, um, it's very simple. I actually just crimp onto it like this and then squeeze. And that just takes the thing right off so I've got the wire exposed just like I'd like it to be. Uh, another way to do that is just to use your blade and start to strip that wire off. The thing here is you've got to be careful not to cut into the wires themselves. You've got to be delicate with it. And once you get it close, you can usually just pull it off. So now I've got, got it exposed that way too. So there's a couple ways to do that. Um, for the purpose of making this quick, I'm just going to use this guy. And then I've got my two exposed wires. So then last part, again, I'm just going to match these up. I've got the blue wire going with the blue wire, the white with the white. And I've got them uh, held together like this. I'm just going to go ahead and, and twist them together. And now I'll twist the other side. All right. So now they're together. The signal is being passed. It's, it's a functioning set again. I've got to use my electrical tape to clear it up and get everything cleaned up and ready to go. There's different schools of thought on this. Um, one, one idea would be to put uh, electrical tape in between so that it continues to be a nice straight wire. Um, some people find it easier to to wrap this off and wrap this off and then um, wrap the whole thing up and but then you end up with something like this where it's kind of a it's got this joint in it so however you want to do it this is something that's going to be in my little girls rooms and so they're gonna they're a little brutal on their toys sometimes so I'm gonna do whatever I think is strongest here so I'm gonna do kind of a, a joint of the two where it still gets to go straight but I bend it like this and then uh, tape it up so that it still get to be a straight wire, but it's, it's pulling against itself, so it's not likely to separate again. So duct tape, or sorry, electrical tape, just grab some of this. All right, wrap it up good and tight. So again, I'm going to wrap one basically against itself here, starting a little bit above where the exposed wire is, and then twisting it on down wrapping it on down at somewhat of an angle.
Okay, and I'm pulling on it nice and tight to keep it real snug. So I've got that first part done here, and now I need to go ahead and do the, the last part to finish it off. Okay, so I'm going to continue where I was. I guess I could have just used a longer piece and gone all the way down. Important thing here is that I get those wires all covered up so nothing's exposed. There we go. Now again inside here, they're actually pulling against each other so this is a pretty strong connection now. So now we're all set, let's give it a try. Plug it in. There we go. And I don't know if you, oh, you can't see this because the light's on, but it's on. It's working. So let me turn this light off and see if that helps. Anyway, there you go. You can see it's working. Anyway, that's how to uh, splice wires together when they get broken. No need to go get a new one for the most part. Usually you can replace this yourself. Just check to make sure you've got the positive and the negatives together and you should be good to go.